Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Hello, survivors. Uh, my name is Jakub. I'm a game designer at uh, Jordan Slayer Hearts of Hell. And welcome to our new Dev Diary series, Into the Hell, where we're going to answer all of your burning questions that you left uh, in our Q&A thread in Discord. So a uh, big thank you for leaving us questions. Uh, keep them coming, please. How many people are part of the Dev team and how long have you been working on the game? Uh, we've started working on the game in the beginning of this year and since then the team has grown quite big. Uh, we're around, at around 25 people right now in the team. What was the motivation for this game? Um, so we've worked on quite a few titles in the action RPG genre in the past. We've uh, released uh, Shadows Awakening or, and Wolves of Mid Midgard. Uh, so we have experience with creating these type of games, these type of graphics. Uh, and we were approached by uh, an investor to create a game in the survival genre. And we found out that it was quite a nice match with our experiences, with our skill set. And because uh, all of us apparently like the Nordic setting, that's what we ended up going for and uh, the rest is history. Will there be multiplayer supported in the final product? Uh, we certainly hope so, but uh, considering multiplayer is quite a big endeavor, um, we might see whether we can actually fit it in in our plans. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in order to make sure that we release a quality product uh, in early access. Are you planning to add any character customization? Um, interestingly enough, uh, we've had this idea floating in our, around in the office recently, and we do like the idea. So uh, if, if the early access is successful, who knows? I guess, uh, stay tuned. How are you going to allow other characters to be uh, playable in beta before uh, releasing the demo builds and so on? So um, we've done uh, smaller playtests in the past and we would like to continue those, but we are currently on quite a tight schedule in terms of uh, releasing the early access later this year. So we'll see whether we manage to get some early sneak peeks before that or whether the new characters and everything will be directly accessible for the public as we put, down, put out other, other builds and updates for the demo. Will progress from the demo be valid in the main game? So in an ideal world, yes, but um, due to ever-changing systems and balance and everything, it's quite unlikely at the moment. That being said, uh, the progression is even right now set to be a little bit faster than it will be in the actual game. So you can explore more of the demo. Uh, right now it is limited content. Uh, later on it will be tuned to kind of go for the longevity of the game. So um, it will be a different experience and sadly you'll probably have to start uh, again. But uh, we're gonna make sure that the experience is fun throughout all the stages and that you have more and more things to unlock as you go. What are the skill evolutions in the latest demo? So, uh, skill evolutions allow you to uh, upgrade your skills after you've got them to level 3 and get much more powerful versions of them. Uh, right now, each uh, skill, uh, they have their own version of it. Some of them change the skill quite a bit. Uh, some of them are just much more direct increases in power. Uh, so we're still playing around it with the idea there's still place to uh, tweak some of the evolutions but we generally like how it turned out that it rewards players for focusing on one skill in particular and getting rewarded with something cool. Are there going to be any daily slash weekly quests and progression in the future? Hopefully, yes, uh, but currently we were mostly focusing on, on the main part of the game, on, on the core uh, of, of, of your playthrough. Um, in the future, uh, we would definitely like to add more progression in terms of um, how do you say, like end game and having stuff to do on, on a regular basis. But um, I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see how things uh, pan out. How many Norse Gods can we expect in the full game? Um, hopefully a lot. Uh, currently we have four that are uh, planned out and that, that are uh, sketched out that we know how they should work. Uh, most of them implemented. 
but uh, of course there's uh, a lot of gods in Nor the Norse mythology that we can use and a lot of them that we would like to add. Uh, the plan is to keep adding more content for the players throughout early access, so there's always something to play. Um, so you can, of course, just expect more. Uh, feel free to put down your favorites in the comments or on our Discord. So why have we chosen Norse mythology and how are the lore and gameplay elements corresponding there? So, as I mentioned, uh, we really like the Nordic setting and I think our, our CEO especially, he likes the idea of Jotun Slayer. And so that's what made sense to everyone and that, that's what's uh, there. So I, I think it turned out really well and it adds this really nice setting for, for, the, for the genre. In terms of connection between lore and gameplay, you can of course see the different uh, gods in terms of the skills that you can acquire. You can of course expect um, to learn a little bit more about the lore and backstory of why you are in, for example, Niflheim and the other, uh, other locations and uh, why are you trying to defeat all the hordes of hell. So stay tuned, uh, there will definitely be more for that. That's all for today. Thanks y'all for all the lovely questions. Feel free to send more on our Discord. And of course, play the demo, uh, leave us a review if you're so inclined, and happy surviving. <laughs>